One of the world's great circuits, Belgium's Spa-Francorchamps, is always a hotly anticipated destination following F1's summer break. Steeped in history, the track has hosted Grands Prix since 1925, making its F1 debut in 1950. The Ardennes region's weather notorious for sorting the men from the boys and the greats from the goods. With two-time F1 world champion Jim Clark taking four straight wins for Colin Chapman's Lotus team from 1962 to 1965. Michael Schumacher, however, remains the king of Spa with six victories, one up on Ayrton Senna. Spa specialists Clark and Kimi Raikkonen have four, with all multiple winners there F1 world champions. Schumacher's legacy in Belgium continues, with son Mick winning his first European F3 race there earlier this month. While for Michael, it's his living room, where he began his career in 1991, becoming the only driver to win the World Championship there in 2004, and where he started his 300th race. In my whole history, everything comes back to Spa, where everything started and where uh, lots of great stories happen. The emotion of the track, the combination of history, is the reason that uh, Spa became a living room. Located 40 minutes from the nearest city of Liège, the legendary seven-kilometer track features 19 turns, 10 left and nine right, and a top speed of 320 kilometers an hour. Ferrari Sebastian Vettel reset the lap record last year. While there are two DRS activation zones, one on the Kemmel Strait, the other on the Pitt Strait. There are two DRS detection zones, one on the run to Eau Rouge, the second before the bus stop chicane. But it hosts racing all year round, with Fernando Alonso winning there for Toyota earlier this year at the World Endurance Championship's season opening six hour race. I'm feeling uh, obviously um, very privileged to drive this car and uh, very proud to, to drive for this team that, uh, you know, um, first race in Endurance Championship and first win, you know, thanks to, to everyone in the team. Last year saw a number of big milestones with the event the 50th Belgian Grand Prix at Spa and Lewis Hamilton winning on his 200th race start. This year, the Brit returns in control of the driver's standings but all eyes will be on the speed trap from Friday practice for where the Mercedes has made gains on Ferrari in terms of straight line speed. Of course, Daniel Ricciardo will be a key talking point ahead of the race, having announced he will join Renault from 2019 and Spa, where he took his third of three wins in 2014. Yeah, I mean, there was obviously the Mercedes dominance, but I was able to, to score the only other three wins of uh, the season, so that was yeah, obviously a big, a big year for me. The sports silly season will naturally ramp up, with the end of year F1 flyaways approaching and lots of seats yet to be settled, including both drives at Minnow squads Toro Rosso and Sauber, where no names have been confirmed yet, and announcements traditionally made towards the back end of the racing season while Belgian-born Dutch driver Max Verstappen's army of fans will be on the edge of their seats once again in the hope their man can take his second win for the year. Fast, flowing and always unpredictable, the Belgian Grand Prix is a true Formula One classic. It's time for the magic of Spa. TheInsideLine.com for everything Formula One.